Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us understand how to do data mining using SSAS and for this tutorial, we will use time series method for data mining. So for the purpose of this video tutorial, we have got a SSAS data mining database. In this database, we have created a table and the table name is temp sales and if we query the table, then we can observe that we have entered data for year 2000 up to 2006 and we have got two columns that is one column is for year the second column is for sales so we have entered sample sales values from year 2000 up to 2006 and using the time series predictive analysis we want to predict the future sales for the next five years that is sales from year 2007 up to 2012 okay so now let us go to ssdt let us go to file new project project inside this folder okay now let us call this project with the same name that is let us call it ssas data mining okay one okay now the kind of project that we will have to use is data mining project so it is anal multi-dimensional and analysis and data mining project okay so let's click okay so now our project blank project has been created first thing is we'll have to add a data source so let us let us add a data source our database is sss data mining text connection okay next we'll use the service account next finish now let us add data source view next we will select temp sales next let's call it as dsv as its data source view finish okay so let's go to mining structures and let's create click on new mining structure okay so we will use existing database table next now it is asking us that which mining model you want to use okay so these are the different models that we can use uh, in this particular video tutorial we will e be using this model that is microsoft time series so let's click next next now this is the case table that is this table has got the input data okay now there are two columns sales and year out of which the year column is the key okay and we want to predict the sales amount for future and for along with that along with this key column sales of the existing years is acting as input also so we'll take sales for the input also next now year key is is a key time field and sales is a continuous value so sales value can take any uh, float value also right next so time sales and finish so our mining structure is now ready okay and we can see that there are two columns sales and year okay now we'll have to go and process but before processing we'll have to add the ssas database connection name so if you go to analysis services this is our multi-dimensional database ssas 2014 so let's go to properties deployment and over here let us specify the name of the database okay now let us do processing click so now deployment is done okay process successfully close okay so now if you go to our database okay so right now the data uh, this new data is not showing database is not showing right so we'll have to say refresh so now our new database with the name sss data mining one has been created and this has been created because in our properties we had given the name of the database as same that is sss data mining one 
so this is the name with which the new database has been created now we will find everything over here whatever was there in ssdt like data mining dot ds data mining dot dsv right so everything is present and the mining structure which has been created is also now present over here okay so now let us go and explore further tabs for the mining structure so the second tab that is mining models is telling us that the kind of data mining used is microsoft time series the algorithm used is microsoft time series and out of the two columns year column is acting as key and sales column is acting for as the for as the column to be predicted now mining model viewer so we can see that it has auto generated the graph okay so these are the values that we have specified and this is the graph that it has auto generated for future values okay based on the trend in the existing data okay if you want we can also increase the number of years for prediction okay so let us bring it back now this particular tab we will understand in some future video tutorial okay now let's go to mining model prediction so now everything is configured now so let us try to predict our future values so over here we will say prediction function okay and over here we will say predict okay because we want to predict the future values now in this we have to specify the criteria so what do we want to predict we want to predict the sales right okay and if we this is the values that we have provided as input if you go to result it will show us the next year's value okay that is we have data up to 2006 so it will show us the value for 2007 okay so it has shown the future predicted value for sales for 2007 now if we want we can predict future values for let's say five years okay so then if we go to the result then it is predicting now values for the next five years that is from 2007 to 2011 okay so now this well this mode gives us design and this mode gives us results but there is something else also there is a query okay so if we go to the query uh, option then we can get the actual dmx query which is being fired to obtain the results so let us copy this dmx query now if you want you can even directly query the database okay sss database with the help of such dms queries so for this we will go to we will have to go to new query dmx and over here we can paste this query so this is a dmx query okay and if we execute then it will give us the same output of the prediction of sales values for the next five years okay so i hope friends this video tutorial on sss data mining using the time series method is useful to you thank you